Welcome back, everybody, to Until Dawn. Look at Peter. This is sitting there looking at us. Oh, he noticed. We're not. Hey. Hey, Peter. <laughs> hey. How's it going? Y you good? You want cereal? Nah, I don't want cereal. <laughs> All right, resuming back. This is just a prank, Han. Or is it? Oh, we're not going to get it anymore, are we? I want to see it! What the hell is that? That could be a lot of things. None of them nice. Quit it. None of them mice! Uh -huh. to the realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot... Yeah, we haven't seen Sam since she left to go have a bath. Josh got chopped in half. Deservedly so. Bye-bye, Josh. We'll see you in the third act. Mike got his guns out, and then he got a gun out. Shit. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Ooh. Could he be hiding there? Ooh. This whole section, I completely forget. Chapter 5, Dread. Six hours until down. Alright, are we... You want to pick a shortcut, Mike? That's not good. That's really not good. I... Oh, the dogs. I didn't even see what was happening. Oh, right. You have the dogs. What's that? Is that your special place? I'm breaking into that. Do I have to keep a controller still? Oh god, I'm worried. I'm putting it on my leg. <laughs> Alright. Let's get a closer look. Alright, Mike, they'll... They'll be nice to you, because you're the alpha! <sighs> Don't slip and die and fall. In that order. <laughs> nice, Mike, like a panther! All right, let's head on in. Oh, I'm hearing a heckin' a woo. Dude, those wolves have smelled me coming a mile away. They have like super noses. Their vision's not great, but their smell? And boy, let me tell you, Mike, you smell right now for sure. Sounds like a rusty gate. Totem! Okay. Is that Matt at the sanatorium? God, I'm missing a lot of these. It's fine. You don't actually need them. It's nice if I can collect them all, but who cares? We know this. We got this. I forget how to keep you alive, Mike. Am I supposed to make you lose your fingers? I... I think you're supposed to lose fingers to keep him alive. I could be wrong. I hate that sound. If I was ever anywhere in real life and that sound happened... Awesome. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? It is deemed awful for any person to use or occupy this structure forthwith. Just don't go in there. Just get out of there. It's condemned. Can we go in the secret hole? Yeah, go in the secret hatch. Or maybe this is a trap. Oh, yeah. Chance to use those guns! Oh, yeah. I don't need bullets. These babies are locked and loaded. Ooh. Agile. Ooh. Ah, to have the knees of a 20 year old. Okay, which. Is that forward? No, this is all blocked off. 
Y'all got any totems lying around? I would really like to pick up some. What's what's wrong, Mike? You got a sore titty? Or are you just like pumping it up? Like a like a pair of like uh <laughs> Is it Air Jordans or Back to the Future shoes or something where you like press the sides of them and they like puff up? Was that a, is that a real thing or a gimmick that I saw in a movie? No, my brain is like <laughs> is like spliced. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is my ready face. Oh yeah, we're thinking, we're looking at the door. What's gonna happen? We don't know, but we're ready. Oh god, I'm mad. <laughs> I just think it's funny that he grabbed it without context, because I didn't say... to gr Like, I didn't see anything worth using it for. Totem! What? What was that one? I mean, I know that that part's a face that's after, like, getting chomped it off. What's the start? That's Matt. Okay, Matt's on the ground. Whatever. Matt, you're probably dead. <laughs> Whoa, what's the light doing? Whoa! I could see everything everywhere all at once. Great movie. My favorite movie this year. There you go, Mike. There you go, Mike. Let's go, Mike. Here we go, Mike. Big man. Yeah, change the pressure on the pipes. Scare him out with steam. All right, easy does it. Agile like a fox. Nice. Getting over it without incident. What a chad. <laughs> Hello? Oh, that's different. Anybody in here? <laughs> that is pretty different, to be fair. I don't know how this dude is living with these wolves if all they do is howl over and over and over and over again. This is why I could never have a husky. Sitting in your house and then all of a sudden you hear, Ow! I couldn't do it. He gave him a crowbar to play with. It'll toughen you up. No. Michael? A no, no, no. Why would you even possibly think about going through that door like that? Not only do we think that that guy is probably a murderer. I mean, from your perspective. You tried to shoot him a minute ago. So you think he's a murderer, so you're just going to waltz in? But not only that, he has two dogs with him. Two wolves. Or are they just dogs? I, I don't know. They're wolves. We'll just say they're wolves, because it's cooler. Even if they're not. Look at that. 1922. Men sana in corpore sano. Guys, what does that mean? Somebody tell me in the comments so I can read it later. <laughs> it means... Uh... Men are scary, don't trust them. Good advice. What does this say? A note asking staff to prepare beds for miners who were rescued after an incident at the mine. The miners were brought to the sanatorium to recover. Uh, be advised that the miner rescue is due to be completed tomorrow. As the number of surviving miners is unknown, Prepare all beds in Ward A. The press hall be in... The press... Sh the press shall be in attendance. We must be seen to be giving the miners the best possible care. 
Note that press visitors are not to be allowed in the psychiatric ward. Failure in this regard would reflect badly upon Mr. Bragg and the sanatorium as a whole and shall result on, in on-the-spot dismissal. Imagine if your name was Mr. Bragg or, or Miss Bragg or whatever. You would get away with so much. If you're a show-off all the time, you'd be like, I was living up to my name. That's weird. I just forced them all out. That is weird, like, so weird. Oh, wait, I don't actually want to go that way. Is that just the front door back out? It's okay, I'll leave it open. It's a bit stuffy in here. I wanted to go into the admin. What's all this then? What we got in here? Oh, a safe. Oh. Someone really wanted to take a peek inside. Are we are we are you really looking at the board, Mike? There you go. I <laughs> could you imagine there's a safe there and he's like, whoa! Look at this stick! It'll open, Mike. Keep trying. That's an extremely strong piece of wood or a really crappy safe. 30 clocking in... I thought I said WWE cards. A batch of 30 clocking in cards from the mine locked away in a safe. This means there were 30 miners trapped in the mine. 30 clocking in mine cards. Oh, shit. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's scary. You're crazy. You're crazy, girl. Okay. God, this lantern is squeaky AF. All right, what else is here, Mike? Walk with determination and confidence. What's this? Camera? A broken camera. Okay. The lens of this camera is smashed. It looks like someone did this on purpose. Cool. Why? That's interesting as well, because then you play as Jacob, who is like... Uh, he would be like Mike's counterpart in the quarry. He also finds a camera. <laughs> the Morgu! Don't mind if I... Yes. Oh, this place is big. I'm just power walking everywhere. Huh. Uh, a newspaper dated 1952 with a story about a reporter being banned from visiting a group of rescued miners. The reporter had his camera confiscated. There you go. Reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. A reporter from the Alberta Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Chuck Bernstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically rescued on Tuesday. The men had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Jefferson Bragg, sole proprietor of both the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told the Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate and that a full internal inquiry had been launched. Sure. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. No, no, no. Blackwood Mountain. You know, take picture in here. Whoa, where are you going, Mike? That's not the direction I was pressing on my controller. All right, cool. Lore. I'm not beginning to think that that wasn't wolves howling. It was just the wind. That's wolves growling for sure. But there, hoo -hoo, it's just the wind. Uh, hold on. Miners rescued from the mine were healthier than expected, although some had exhibited reintegration problems. The report mentions 12 miners, but there were 30 clocking in cards retrieved from the mine. There's no indication of what happened to the other 18 miners. Report follows uh, the initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue of Blackwood. On receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men, starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appear uh, relatively healthy. How do you how do you say that? Cogent? Cogent? 
I don't know. Attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Inhibited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group, though their outward health is expected, or is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronchoscopy and are prescribed a course of streptomycin. Uh, the others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation. Dr. Nicholas Henry Fowles Bowen. I don't trust anyone with that many names. Okay, interesting. Miners be mining, I guess. Follow the adventure line. Ba ba da ba ba da ba. Ba ba da da ba da ba. I still think this is all an absolutely awful idea, Mike. You just saw Jessica die from your perspective. Like, you don't know if she's alive or not. And then you saw a guy that might have been a murderer in the area, and your solution is to go chase him? Back off, Crow. Uh oh. We're gonna try and grab that oh, knife, shit. and it's not gonna work out for us. I guess it will. Now I have a knife! Oh, stab myself in the leg with it. <laughs> Nice, that's not even just a knife, that's a machete. Let's go, Michael. Wait, which way is forward? Oh, hold on, hold on. We're gonna see a dead body. Or birds. Is it gonna be birds? I have a feeling birds. Oh, never mind, it's just a chair. A chair with leather straps to restrain the patient. There's blood on it. It looks like it was used to as part of a weird experiment. Oh, what happened here? Science. Dun, 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 let's go, Mike. Dun, 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 stab the guy. Dun, 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 kick a dog. Just kidding, I would never do that unless it came to it, cause he would bite me. Dun, 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 dun. I've got a machete. Dun, 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 dun. My name is Mikey. There's nothing here, Mike. There's trapes around in the dark for no reason. Whoa, doggy. Uh, reply immediately. Reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Telegram! Gee, who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? I don't know, Mike. Good observation. All right, should we do some punching? Some stabbing, some slashing? Machete's really more of a hacking and slashing kind of weapon, though. You're not really gonna stab anyone with it. What do you think, Bonesy? Yeah! I remember when I was trying to be stabbed with a machete. It didn't work out, though. It was when they slashed at me, that's when I died. <laughs> Good one, Bonesy. See you later. Imagine if his head just turned. Diddle -diddle. Hello, big scary murderer man. Do you have a minute to talk about our Lord and Savior Michael? Oh, that's just where the chair was. Cool. Epic room. Oh, God. Okay, Mike. I totally forget what's supposed to happen in this scenario. I remember this and it's like, oh, if I grab it, don't I lose like fingers or something? Oh, but my itsy bitsy monkey brain wants to touch things. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this what he was feeding them? Oh, this is gonna end badly. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, got it. There it is. There it is. There it is. Cut the fingers off, Mike! Cut them off! 
Oh, oh, Mikey! This is why we have the machete. Get it, get it, Mike. Chop the fingers. Saw style. Here we go. Here we go now. Amputate fingers! Take the fingers! Oh shit. Oh shit. That is oh, not shit. how oh, I would shit. go about that. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, go shit. the other side so you can smash them. There you go! That's a sharp machete! I'm sure that's fine. Rusty bear trap, old machete covered in blood, me here without my bandages. Oh, never mind, there's bandages right there! <laughs> Pick up some penicillin. <laughs> See, they're painkillers. Or morphine. Yeah, wipe your own blood off the handle. Mighty. Oh. Catch a tiger by the tail, Hiffy. Let him go. I don't know what the fuck to go. Okay. What? What the fuck to go? Mike, you're delirious from losing your fingers. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Chop my fingers and let's go. <laughs> I like the way he's walking now. Where did the dog go, though? This place just gets better and better. Mm. Very pretty. Get close to it, Mike. Kiss it. Excuse me, sir. I'm in a lot of pain. A lot of fingers. Can you help? This is a good idea. This is a great idea, even. Oh, pray tell, whose is this? A name tag, for who? Nicholas Bowen. Was that the doctor? Somebody was Bowen. He had too many names though, I can't remember them. Attack by inmate, fatal lacerations to throat. That'll do it. Nasty way to go. Oh, that one's moving though. You think it's got a raccoon in it? <laughs> Stock sound effects. Here we go, Mike. We just lost fingers and now we're touching dead things. Severe lacerations to abdomen. A hastily written death certificate dated 24th of February 1952 it describes the body as partially eaten. Eh. I hereby certify that I attended deceased from blah blah blah. Cause of death, severe lacerations of the abdomen, intra-abdominal injuries, subsequent blood loss. If death was due to external causes, violence, fill in also the following. Uh, N. Bowen, M.D. Yeah, doctor. Body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were eaten... Apparently eaten by the attacker. Oh. We got some bad mojo going on at this place. Here we go. Jump scare time! Who are you? What's behind door number this one? What's up, Bonesy? That's even fucking sicker, honestly. Ooh, punch card. Nice. Oh, yeah. My one good hand. Do some wrist twists. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Check this out. Get a good wrist twist going. Everybody at home as well. Oh, yeah. Actually, that hurts like fuck because I smashed my arm into the railing on my stairs. <coughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> A lot just happened in those 20 seconds. Clock in, clock out. I work here now. Going to the chapel and we're going to get stabby. There's no point hiding your hand away now, Michael. You lost the fingers already, okay? It's in the past. Get over it already. You're the one who decided to chop them off. You can't be sad about it now. But let's face it, if you opened up the bear trap, the dog will come in and chew on your gonads. And that's just not going to help anybody. Oh, lordy! 
Run, Michael! Actually, you have a machete. You probably should be using that. Since it's life or death and all. I don't think you're gonna outrun a wolf. Uh, maybe you are. Big leg muscles. Take him to the chapel. Wolves hate Christianity. <laughs> Show them the word of Jesus. Does this dude not hear anything? Or is he just kind of like baiting me? Don't appreciate it. Okay. Uh, this is a quaint little psycho crib. Maybe if I go this way, I'll lose more fingers. Yeah, there you go. Now you're holding the lantern with the broken hand. Good job, Michael. That's character progression. Or adrenaline. It's probably adrenaline, since you were attacked by wolves. What a man you are, Mike. Back in here. Yeah, it's time to clock into this chapel. Priest style. Oh, whoa, 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 the lamp is doing it again. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I can make it happen. <laughs> Go again. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, take that with you. You might need it. Whoa! Whoa! Use the lamp! Oh, God. <laughs> Eat shit, dog. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Is he chill now? That's all it takes is one kick in the teeth and then the dog's like, Oh, sorry, bro. Yeah, my bad. Nice. I knew you were the alpha, Mike. Don't turn your back to him, though. Oh my god, it's like playing finger twister. Ooh, Ooh you want bone? Yes, I'll keep the wolves fat. I have bone. <laughs> the wolf's like, hell no. I smell blood coming out of your fingers. Uh, the stogie stash exposed. Cool. It all connects. The guy who was smoking cigars was the guy who was smoking cigars. Ego. Throw the bone, Mike! Throw the bone! Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Easy, boy. Easy. Oh, God, that is so scary. That's a good boy. That's right. He just bites the rest of my fingers off. That was my premonition! I saw that! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, he's a friend. Is the lamp going to keep doing it? Okay. Because that, if that lamp kept freaking out, that dog was going to bite my face off. So, what have we here? What do we got here? A jacket? <sighs> Don't mind if I yes. Looking good, Mikey! Oh, if only I had... Oh, chop off your other fingers and tie them into a knot, and then you have an extendo arm. Ooh. Or do this. Actually, yeah, use your more evolved human brain. Nice. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Get a good feel of that in your hand. Bet you feel cool now, don't you, Mike? We're not gonna use it, though. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. And we're only gonna shoot a Wendigo with it. We're not gonna shoot the dude. Why would I do that? He's a friend. Freak. Okay, Mike's calling him a freak. A map of the mountain with sightings and recent disappearances marked with dates. It looks like the work of an obsessive mind. It also says Bigfoot was sighted. <laughs> Big face! No totems? Y'all got any more of them totems lying around? I would love to see if I'm gonna lose any more fingers. Maybe see if my toes are gonna fall off from the cold. Frostbite's a hell of a thing. Uh, anything? 
I don't think there's anything else. Let's head forward. What if now the dog obeys me? What if I could just be like, and then he goes and attacks the dude? That'd be sick. Michael, dog whisperer. This is a bad idea. <laughs> but the world is built on bad ideas, Mike. Let's go. Shoot everything. Solve all your problems with a gun. No, not totems. Here, totem, 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 totem. This is cool. Oh god, camera, why? Stop that. Is that a pibble? Maybe if you read it, God will give you your fingers back. Totem! Ah, oh, that's a cool one! That's the best one we found! It's like a horns and a face. Oh yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> oh, wait, that one was here. Weird, so maybe I didn't miss any. I'm missing a lot of these danger ones. That's because I'm never going to get into danger. Um, I do remember that ending that you can turn on the gas and then Mike can blow up the whole room. And can't he kill, like, multiple people at once if you do that? Including himself? The miners! A framed photo of the group of miners rescued after the cave-in. A plaque says all 12 miners survived. There were 30 clocking in cards in the mine. The Miracle Men. The successful rescue of all 12 miners trapped in the disaster. So, a lot of them died, but they... That they just say, like, oh, all 12 survived! And then they stashed away the 30 clocking in cards. To be like, no one will find the evidence. That we lost eight, or 15 of them. Wait, was it 15? I already forgot. That'll tell you how my fucking ADHD brain works. Oh, I forgot that we could do this. Oh, my bravery is... Wait, is that bad? Mike? <laughs> Are these good or bad things? Like, red to me says bad. But is red, like, maxed out? I don't know, apparently I'm brave and I'm Jess. Laundry. Well, we got some laundry to do, don't we, Mike? Because we've been outside falling in the rivers, and our clothes are dirty. And I probably need to clean my bandages at least once a day. You're gonna survive this, Mike. You're gonna go on to be old and happy. Still fingerless, but you know what they say whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, Mike. It's just a prank. Yeah, but what if they cut off, like, my last two fingers? Ah. I think you're fine without them. Of course. Hey, Locked. it's better to have fingers and have lost them than to have had no fingers at all. That's not how the saying goes, but... Okay. This is America! <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really fucking bad. Mike? You best run. Mike! Is your brain just at a different frequency? The killer is watching. Oh no. He's five nights at Freddying you. He just Lost. locked it! The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. <laughs> yeah, you can let go of the button now, Matt. <laughs> Alright, Emily, where are we going? Lead the way. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess. Where'd Chris and Ashley go? Some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Is this one of those scenarios where it's like in the previous scene, they actually showed me what happened? Look, it's been a day since I recorded the last episode. You think I remember things from a day ago? Oh, I thought you were a totem! It's just paint! It's still fresh. <sighs> That's the blood that Josh used. It wasn't real blood. 
<laughs> totem! Matt and Emily remind me of Abigail and Nick from the quarry. My name's Nick, found a totem. Oh shit, I fucking died. <laughs> Let's see, do we have, how much more of the event do we have? Okay. Sometime after the prospectors came to mine this mountain until a cave in tra Okay. This is a big one. And driven mad murderers. Cannibals. Cannibal? Eating human flesh. <laughs> cool. And many hunts. Dude, this TikTok sucks. <laughs> a year ago. I was finally able to get him in my sights. Oh, uh, that's the other guy. His voice. Uh, the guy we've been chasing. Something Fassenden? Larry Fassenden? Is that his name in real life? Everything's better with an axe. Can we go through the window? Never mind. Just to let you know, Emily, there's a window there if we can't get in this way. Start smashing shit down. He's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. Window. What about? Look. What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Um. You're gonna fit through. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Think again, lughead. No can do. For one thing, that maniac is probably just sitting there under that window waiting to blend us into pina coladas. <sighs> okay, fine. Here it goes. Wait, I have to smash the door anyway? I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! Do it, man! Here's Johnny! I feel like I probably would have made that joke last time as well, right? Here's Matty! Ah! This one's for you, Emily! As in, I opened the door for you, not as in I want to bury the axe in your head. No, 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 I would never think that. Still think you could have fit through the window. Damn. What happened? This is crazy. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, the, the one who who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. I don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You you can jump it? Uh, excuse me? I'm good, Em. But not that good. You can't fit in that tiny window, but I have to jump across jump. that to grab it? No, 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 no. I saw a premonition like of my ass landing on the ground after trying to jump for that. Exactly what they were Even doing. if I grab it, it's cold and icy out here. I don't know if I'll be able to hold on to it. It says die all over the wall. There we go. Someone really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now... Why did I put this back up? Hey, look! Fire tower. Oh. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable <laughs> car working and take the show on the road, huh? Um, maybe not, Emily. It says die, die, die on the wall, Emily. <sighs> Unfollow. Or maybe it says dear, dear, dear. Like, the, the, the in German. D Bart D Speed control. Am I not allowed to interact or anything? Oh great. No keys, no cable car. So back to square one. <gasps> what happened? 
What about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Look, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? What? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. What do you mean? I looked at the thing and I was like, ooh, fire tower, awesome. And she's like, ah, Magellan, maybe fix the cable car first, you big stink. And now it can't fix the cable car. She's like, I've got it, the fire tower. We can use the radio to call for help. But somebody's got to pick up the signal. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? <laughs> what? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. Well, rules are meant to be broken, Emily. And I'm the one with the axe, so... I can cut down more doors. Oh, hold up. What are you doing? What's cooking, good looking? <laughs> Here, Mr. Meat for Brains. Man, she's so mean to me. <laughs> this is a great plan. This is super cool plan, Emily. Yeah, why don't we just walk out into the snowy precipice? Okay, now easy does it. We can totally get out here this way. I still had a premonition of me falling and dying, so that could happen at any second. <laughs> or you, you're lucky. You're right. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first to protect me. <laughs> but if you fall, then I can't like okay. help you. Okay, easy now. Oh, not in a million years. This is why, because I said I was afraid of heights. You're doing this on purpose. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. This is such a stinky idea. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Son of a binky bonky. I totally forgot he said that. <laughs> ah, son of a binky bonky. Any totems lying around? Totem! I told. Oh, that's a cool one too. Okay, flare gun. Got it. That's a good one to have. How many totems do we have? <sighs> Almost good on the guidance ones. Epic. Let's go, Emily. This place is tapped. What if it doesn't work? What? The radio. It'll work. But. If it doesn't, we need a plan. Yeah, hide in the radio tower until morning. We can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch yeah, black Everest now. isn't floating in the sky either, but you're still gonna get killed climbing it. <laughs> the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away. No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. This is all blurry. It's really easier to figure this out. my focal right. point. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Yep. Yep. Or a sanatorium. I do think, uh, speaking of like what the quarry and this do differently, I do think that the quarry is much better about your sense of direction. This one is kind of like you go out somewhere, you walk across all these pathways, and then you end up at a cabin. And I have no idea where that is in relation to other things. It's very confusing to like walk around in this game. Like it's fine because it's all linear, and you just end up in uh, the place you need to be anyway. But just getting there is always really confusing. Like I don't know where I am in relation to the lodge right now. Hold on, Em. There's probably a totus over here. Huh? Huh? What was that noise? What is that? Oh, Beth's phone. 
I I swear to God, I thought that that was a silver ingot. <laughs> like, something you'd make in a video game. Beth never went anywhere without her cell phone. She must have passed this way on the night of the disappearance. Whoa, this is Beth's phone. I thought the police, like, swept the whole area. Well, it looks like they missed this. To be fair, it was stuck under boards. Can we get any more info this way? Is that it? Alright, alright, Emily, I get it, I get it, I'm coming, don't worry about it, jeez. Keep your snow boots on! Is that a totem? Is that a sweet, delicious... TOTEM! Chris gets back in the house, Wendy goes chasing him, that was cool, that was cool, that was cool. That's a prophecy of good fortune, so if he comes to the door, open it and let him in. Whoa! Cool! Why don't we just climb down the mountain, Em? Oh, this is where they fell. Watch where you step around here, Em. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. Yeah, good. Hey, M, do you know who Dan Cliff is? It must have been a big deal if they had a whole sign for him out here. I don't know what the rest of it says. Probably says Daniel Cliff. Yeah, probably. All right, let's head out. <laughs> Matt, what is that? It's mooses and wendigos and wolves and squirrels and knife snakes. That's a lot of them. That's a hell of a lot of them. I can do it too. Sam! You're having the time of your life. Warm water, nudie in a tub. Oh, never mind. The hacksaw man is right behind you. Did you get a good look, Josh? Yeah, creep. The candles went out. Hello? Guys? You didn't lock the door. What are you doing out there? Being creepy. Okay. All she's done has been in the tub this entire game so far. That towel's not much protection, Sam. Oh, you're fast, though! So much faster than the others! <gasps> That's why they walk so slow, the clothes are weighing them down. Now I have the power of towel. I have the power of towel! My clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. That was hard to figure out what was going on, but they took her clothes and just left the sock. Chris? Josh? Have any of you seen my clothes? Well, there's balloons pointing me the way. Oh, it is mega Derek in this place. God, Vecna's coming for me. Hello, Sam. It is time for your suffering to come to an end. Ever notice how Vecna just keeps saying people's names over and over and over and over again? Max, where are you going? Max. Well, Sam does it too. Mike, Emily. Chris, Mike, Emily, Sam, Max. This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny. Haha. <laughs> Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? It's just a you prank, Sam. 
It's just a... It's just a P rank. Chill, bruh. Follow the balloons! That's an elaborate thing to do as well. I can just imagine Josh sitting around blowing up balloons, Did being I like... <sighs> this is gonna be so scary. <sighs> Getting lightheaded after blowing up ten balloons. <sighs> it's gonna be worth it. <sighs> oh! The balloon went away, it's gonna pop. Oh, we saw this picture already, but I look at it again. Who is it, the balloon man? Also, this would be a really shitty prank for your friends to play. Not as shitty as the one at the start of the game, but still pretty shitty. Cinema room. Hell yeah, you got Dolby Atmos in there? The hell are you guys? Oh, this is weird. Oh no, Levi's jeans. Hey, guys, come on! Oh, I'm done with this! I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here! <laughs> Classic. Hello, Samantha. I'd like to play a game. Looking for me. I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. Yeah, you can hear that, that it's I his voice. Quite a lot to show you. What is going on? Open your eyes. This is a pretty sweet home theater. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? You, you feel me nudie in the tub? Beautiful bathing bird. Do you think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? How did you film this? Josh! How does it make you feel? Oh my God, what did you do? I'm going to give you ten seconds. Nine. Eight, uh, no, 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 no. I hate hide and seek. Whoa! Sam. Uh, run! Ah! You got this, Sam. Uh, jump. I'm not hanging around. If I go under the bed, he's just gonna lift the bed and find me and kill me. Oh, Jesus. Not today, stairs. I'm wearing a towel. Uh, keep running. It's worked for us so far. The further away from danger you are, the less danger you're in. Or not. No or not. Uh, pull? That didn't do anything. There's the handle! Hell yeah! Oh my god, Sam, pick it up! Nice! Ah! Heck yeah! Man, he's kind of bad at this, huh? <laughs> You'll have to speak up, I'm wearing a towel. It's one of my favorite Simpsons lines. <laughs> this is why you kick in a door, you don't barge it in. Whoa. Run, Samantha, run! Don't step on glass, though. Uh, hide this time. Because he was that direction, so I go the other direction. What the fuck? Shit, I'll probably have to stay still. Put the controller down. Yeah! Ew. 
Don't say pussy pussy like that again. <laughs> what? Son of a bitch! Nice. I don't think she can die there. Well, that certainly didn't go according to plan now, did it? For me, it did. Such careful, brilliant plotting, and yet in a crucial moment, you are foiled by your own inadequacies. I told you that everything you do has consequences. Do you think this mistake won't have repercussions? What you do and what you say causes things to change. <laughs> yes. All the good work uh. you did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your overwhelming fear of failure. You have turned it against these people who use a desperate one to torment. Has it been worth it? Yeah, it's been sick. There's no one. Oh! I was gonna say there's no one in the chair. Oh Lord. Chapter six, psychosis. Matt, they want us. Get a hold of yourself. Stay calm, Emily. Yeah, isn't this where if you act rashly, they knock you off? We won't get knocked off. I am the moose whisperer. They're not moose, but they're deer. Close enough. It's fine. Watch this. Watch this. We can just walk right through, Emily. See that? I'm the Deer Whisperer! So cool, calm, collected. Just say nothing about their mothers. Nice. Nice. Shh. Easy does it. No sudden movements. Or sounds! I, oh wait, I might have to hold my controller still. No, I'm not gonna attack him! We're just walk slow. We're gonna be chilled. The deer are just curious about what cologne I'm wearing. It's Burberry. Nice. Great job, team. We're both alive, Emily. Isn't that great? Isn't it nice to live? Sure is. It's exhausting, but... Hey, it's better than being knocked off a cliff. <laughs> All right, what do we do next? All they seem to be if doing do in this game is meandering up snowy radio. paths. Then we tell them we need help. What do we do while we wait? We go back to the lodge. We, we walk. Oh God, not the lodge. We should stay here in case whoever it is needs to get back in touch with us. Let's get that radio working first. The voice work at times is very. Ooh. Maybe we should go this way in case somebody needs to get in touch with us. Oh, that's freaking bright. Ah, God, is that you? I can't see ah, that. It's just finally. A Motion sensor, probably. Yeah, but look at this, Matt. Totem. Ooh. You should use these as weapons. Okay, we put down the gun. And we don't shoot ourselves in the head. Yeah, got them all. All the guidance ones got gotted. These ones, not so much. Ooh, I have a massive chunk of the past events now. Nice. Cool, Matt, did you see that premonition as well? It was Chris holding the gun. Where did he get a gun? All right, so far so good. Everybody is alive, everyone's doing good. Jess is at the bottom of a hole somewhere, but we'll get back to her. She'll show up again, don't worry. I know all of you are like, Jess, Jess, Jess. Massive Jess fans down in the comments. Who's your favorite character? What's your favorite dinner food? Matt, don't stand next to a hole like that unless you want to fall in. Is that it? Do you want to fall in, Matt? No. Climb the ladder. Climb the ladder after Emily! Matt! What are you doing down there? 
He loves to be a problem, doesn't he? Wait, why did you get rid of it? You can climb with an axe in your hand. That's easy peasies. Matt, that axe can save us. We did see a flare gun at some point though. Maybe that's up here. The premonition showed us that. Get the flare gun fired off. Coast Guard will come in. Save us. Uh, Helicopter, SWAT, the, the whole thing. We're almost inside. <laughs> why is it so windy? Because you're climbing a tower. Funnily enough, the wind usually kind of kicks in a bit more when you get higher up. There's altitude and shit. Wait. Is that a totem? You've shown me what could be totems that aren't totems? Dick move game. It's just a prank. Alright. It's probably smarter to climb one at a time anyway, but what if there's a bloody bear in here, Matt? What if there's a bear in here whose only weakness is an axe? Never mind, Matt, it's empty. It's empty! Come on up, Matt! The air is pure! Hey, at least we're out of the wind. Oh, cozy. <laughs> I mean, burr. Are you right? Yeah. What's in the locker? Oh, Hannah Washington Sorry, missing. Hannah. Sorry, Hannah, you're still missing. My bad. To be fair, it was just a prank? And? A messy person posted for Hannah Washington and mentions her tattoo and her glasses. <laughs> have you seen this person? Hannah Washington was last seen in the location of the Blackwood Pine Ski Lodge. She may have been in some distress. Uh, no, she was in a pair of pants, actually. Hannah was wearing a black top, dark jeans, and brown leather boots. She was not wearing a coat. She has glasses and has a tattoo on her right shoulder. Uh, 172 centimeters, 110 pounds. Can you help? No. Nope. Still missing. After tonight, their disappearance is starting to make more sense. Yeah. It's almost like you guys shouldn't have been assholes. <gasps> what are we gonna print? Oh god. This is my tax forms? So no power. Um Oh god, I thought I could fall down that thing. I'm assuming this doesn't work either. Oh, come on. Have you tried turning all the dials? Use the door! There's a door over there! What's down here, though? Totems? Nothing. Oh, God. Wait, no. We're going back outside again. This is probably a bad idea. I didn't think this through. Emily! Hold on. I won't start flicking switches yet. I want to search around. In case you turn on a switch and then something happens and you have to run inside, lock the door... I'm just covering my bases. Oh, what's in this? Flare gun! Not just a fluffy hair rack, my friends. Here we go. Here we go. Time to bring the heat to your wrist twists. Keep those joints going. Keep flare gun, give flare gun to Matt. Oh god, I can't remember what happens. Um. Give it to Matt. Let's go. Whoa! Maybe we shouldn't have shot that immediately. Hopefully someone who's not a psychopath. Okay, maybe it doesn't matter who I gave it to. Is that like a known thing that people are waiting for flare signals down below? Was that something we were taught? Hmm. What do I do with this? Hmm. Shh. Shh. Little tiny switch. Shh. Grab me by the lips. Shut. Yeah, here we go. Nice work. Okay. Let's go! Oh, Sweet! Can you 
you close the door, Matt? I'm gonna print our uh, tax forms. Oh, oh God, Matt! It's actually just our other dead friend. Oh, gee, I'm. Oh God, bad memories. Have you seen this person, Beth Washington? She may have been in some distress. I told. She was in leggings and a fuzzy jumper and a beanie. Beth was wearing a bright pink padded jacket, black leggings, snow boots, and a white beanie hat. See, she wasn't in distress. Too, Beth. Boom, baby! Huh? Come again? Oh, oh, yes! Hello! Said slowly and clearly. Matt's like, kind of cringe that you're talking so quick. Hello, my name is Emily. Oh my god, okay. This is. My name is Emily. Hold the button down! How is his stuff coming through clearly and mine isn't? We're on Blackwood Mountain by the ski lodge. There's a killer and he's after us and he's already killed one of our friends. Oh god, please. <laughs> Matt's like, help. chill, Emily. Jeez, it was just Josh. Like, his sisters are dead. Obviously, he was gonna die as well. What's that? The murderers below us? Probably a fucking deer. Calm down, Emily. Oh god, we have to survive until dawn? He's coming for us! It's not all about you, Emily, okay? I can die as well. Uh, occupied. Someone's in here. Zipline, baby! Never mind. <laughs> oh man, was that Dan Cliff? Did he do that? Uh oh, Emily, uh, this. I think the whole place is coming down! Oh! There was only two wires holding this whole thing to the ground? Matthew, do something! Fire the flare gun again! Ah! Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. Save her. Save her, Matt. Not today, but oh god. Okay, Matt, you're gonna have to like superhero this shit. Wow, the printer! No, my tax forms! I'm gonna have to pay more. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Damn, and they both died happily ever. Oh, he's fine. Are we still like high up? What is happening? Damn it. Oh. Emily, are you okay? Scream once for yes and die for no. <laughs> That was Hannah, the Wendigo, getting back at us, being like, it was just a prank. Oh, it's just a prank, huh? Dan Cliff sends his regards.
Uh, suspicious. No, save her, dum dum. Good mansplaining, Matt. Stop yelling at me and let me work this out, okay? No, you stop it. Why do you question every little thing I say? I'm goddamn sick of it. Uh oh. Uh, let's not be sarcastic in a life or death situation. I love sarcasm. Get me off this goddamn tower, please. I, I say it a lot. Some people don't get it, but now's not the time. Ah, uh, save her. Oh God! Oh God! Matt, lighten your feet now. Save her! We're not jumping to safety. If we jump to safety, I think one of us dies. Specifically, Emily. Emily! No, she's not dead. She's not dead. I would have shown it. Now you can jump, Matthew! She's fine, right? I don't think we got her killed. At least not intentionally. Eyes in the tunnel, Matt! She's fine. Just a giant structure fell on her. Don't even worry about it. Just hobble your way to... Where are we going? What is this? Dark Souls? Whoa, buddy! Whoa! Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Matt, use the flare gun! We still have it, don't we? Uh oh. Uh oh. Why did. Why. Whoa. She wasn't up there? Oh shit. I don't know. I didn't see her. <laughs> she must have come down here. I haven't seen her either. Well, I got him killed. Now it's time to kill all of you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Come on, man! I thought I was picking the right decisions. I gave him the flare gun. He didn't jump to safety. He tried to save Emily. That's good. Right? Yeah. Oh, ah! Did that just happen? Damn it, what is going on around here? Those powered candles? Wait, how does that even work, actually? Ooh, I'm going over here, Chris. This is a cool room. Whoa, Chris, look at this over here. It's got a antlers, Chris. And it's got a whatever this is. Ah, oh, it's a phone. One new message. New message. Hold on. A message from a local police officer about a convict being released from jail. It sounds like a warning. I'll be the judge of that. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. And wait, didn't you say that that sounded like a threat? Messages. Oh wait, how are your relationships doing? Nothing changed. Okay, cool. Let's go, Ashley. Man! Stinky Matt and his stupid dying. Why didn't you just take out the flare gun and be like, whoosh, right in the face? Why did he have to, like, die in a hook? Also, that wouldn't kill you. You know, in this game about Chris, supernatural creatures and shit. Ashley, stop. No, I want to say, I mean, thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Ash, what was I going to do? Okay, I, I, I couldn't let anything happen to you. Yeah, Ash. I couldn't. 
I don't have a crush on Josh. I also like that one of the last things that Matt said to Emily was, Hey, Emily, please calm down. Look, I know you're on the precipice of death and everything, but just calm down, will yeah, you? I just... I know. You and Josh were close. Chris? Let's just find Sam, okay? That, that's what we're doing. I mean, now. oh my god! Ashley, just stop, okay? I don't want to think... Just stop reminding me of it! Chris! We're finding Sam! Dude, the center room is sick! Hell yeah! What kind of speaker system you got in here, though? Mm, are those the speakers right there? They're too close together. What? Uh, you're not going to create any sense of space and separation with your audio if your speakers are that high up and that close together. Then again, that doorway there is kind of a problem. You can't really put the speakers too far apart. At least put them, like, like nearer the corners, center in that room. Because if a sound whips around the back of your head... Look, I know a lot about speakers, okay? I rarely ever get to talk about it. Wow! Oh! It's a door! Run! <laughs> I wasn't scared. <laughs> that was a totally fake jump. <laughs> Why did that get me so much? Oh, Jesus. It's yump scare after yump scare. Wait a minute. Did you just see that? Um, did, did I see what? That, Chris, that! What that was that? It was like... <laughs> Oh boy. I'm serious. Wait, is that Josh doing all of those? I said I saw it. Doesn't that count for anything? We, we've been through hell tonight, okay? Your mind is fried. My mind is fried. I, I don't even trust what I've been seeing. We have fried minds here, Ashley. I saw a ghost. No, you are wrong. I saw it, and I am sure. Chris? All right, all right. Maybe... Maybe it's, maybe you did see something. Let's just let's just keep our heads. Are we going crazy down here? It, it's it's the only place left Sam could be, Ash. I wish we could just go find everyone else and. What if Sam needs us? What if she's in trouble? Oh God. <laughs> let's go. I don't know. I don't want to go into the dark basement. Is it Josh doing like spooky, scary? Ghost things? You're right there, Chris. I can't remember if they explain it or not. Which is kind of fun that I... There's some parts of this game that I don't remember at all. Wait, is, this is where I came through. Wait, is it? No. Huh? <laughs> I lost my sense of direction instantly. Yeah, I'm not scared. I was just worried about Chris. There you are. Hey. Uh, that was my phone vibrated. Actually, took me off. Uh, took me by surprise. Oh, cool! I spent five pound on Amazon today. Awesome. What is even happening? Oh my god, that scared me. You knocked into it, right? I mean, you knocked into it. Yeah, you sure? How did everything get so freaky around here? Doors. Look, 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 of course. You can see in the windows. See what? It's tiny furniture? No. It's a whole scene with dolls and everything. Yeah. They have marks on the rise, like they're titan shifters. I, I guess you need a key if you want to play around in there. Oh, I want to play around in there. I want a key. But where would an Ashley find a key in a basement? Is it with the wine? Cool. Awesome. That's sick. That's really cool. There's no handle. That's where Samwise went. All right, come on back, Chris. Just chill out, okay? Relax. Stop freaking out. Wait! Chris, 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 the ghost! 
What? Did you see it? No. You were looking at Chris, look, 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 look! Are you tweeting? Huh? Hashtag there's a freaking ghost after us. Ash, calm down, okay? There is no ghost here. G ghost of what? You, you're freaked out because of what happened with Josh. You're not paying attention. I saw it. I saw a ghost, and it looked like Hannah. It looked wait, like wait, Hannah. Wait, 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 what? Her baby Pat. Jesus. They Ashley. were twins. What, what do you think? They followed us up here from the seance? I don't know. Maybe. They did it because ghosts don't exist, okay? Oh, okay, who was talking to us at the seance, Chris? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Believe me now. How does a picture just jump off the wall like that? I don't know. Key. You wanna play with dolls, Chris? Huh. Here you go. <gasps> oh oh my God. God. There. Look there, Chris. You can't tell me you can Whoa, be that. Uh, See? Oh, what was it, Chris? Is it the wind? Was it a bear? I, 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 I just. <laughs> Was it a trick of the mind? Chris, it's showing us the way. I just have to try every door. <laughs> Lock it, huh? Well then. Chris, you wanna play with the dolls or should I play with the dolls? Maybe I'll play with the dolls. You just stand back. Oh, this is unbelievable. I feel like the ghost wanted me to see this. What? What? Why are we all nudie? <laughs> whoa, 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 what is going on here? Oh god, it's, it's like... It's not like anything, that's us. Hiding there, waiting for Hannah, last year. But it's, it's so accurate, I mean, that's exactly where I was sitting and that's where Matt was. This was set up by someone, who was there? Or someone, or something that was watching us. Maybe it's a warning, I think someone... I think someone put this here to mess with us. No, it has to be the ghost. It's trying to tell us the maniac killed Hannah and Bat. I think it's this bastard that he's, he's here trying to fuck with our heads. Why would he set this all up, Chris? He's trying to tell us that they he's got the banana pillow, right? Oh! <laughs> Shotgun comes out of it, blows both of their heads off. Now that's a prank. Oh. It's Hannah's diary. It's a Bible. Read it. That's not an invasion of privacy for a dead person. Mom finally agreed. The invitations are out. The party is going to happen. I hate that I have to wait. So far, Ash, Matt, and Sam have said definitely yes. Nothing from Mike. Oh my god, Mike confirmed. He phoned Josh this afternoon. These are not very lengthy diary entries. Oh, she drew the tattoo herself. Kind of cool. Nothing happened on January 31st, Everyone apparently. Everyone being together here on the mountain is going to be so awesome. Cozy fires and hot tubs and OMG, Mike. I am so psyched to spend some time with him. I can't read this. It's so sad. But you just did. <laughs> totally got to stop obsessing, but I can't help it and I don't want to. Poor Hannah. It's just a prank. Came from down there. It came from the darkness. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Lead on, Christopher. Or I will. Please don't, don't be death and destruction. Oh, it's just an empty hallway. <laughs> ah, death and destruction! <laughs> Chris is dead. Leave him. Nothing. Hey. But you did see it, Chris, for real. I saw something, but, but where'd it go? Yeah, how does all this stuff get explained? Hey, hey, look at this. Look at this, it's another diary from a scientist. For industrial light bulbs. That is so random. Not if he's using them to project an image. Are those just plugs and switches? <clears throat> Transformers. One of the bulbs is circles. A specialist light bulb bulb catalog. The circle light bulb is for a specific type of projector. There you go. That's a powerful bulb. 
Did I call that back in the day when I played this the first time? Was I like, ah, someone projected them? Because if not, now I feel dumb because that's really obvious. Oh, don't stab your booty cheek. You don't want to bleed out. That's where most people's blood is stored. Hey, I use this doll as a thumbnail. That was my thumbnail for this episode back in the day. I remember that. That's fun. <laughs> uh, what was, that? Hmm. was that an explosion? <laughs> Wait, there's a whole nother room through here. It's mammoth. Chris, I don't know if I want to keep going. Yeah, probably a bad idea, honestly. Oh, God. The hallway of death. Where in the world are we now? Are you kidding me? Did you know this was here? This, this is like a whole other hotel. I had no idea this was here. Does this link up with the sanatorium? God, I can't remember anything. Oh, it's so dusty down here. I, I'm allergic to dust. Uh, so I would be having a horrible time down here. I don't think I can take any more of this. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bad at my limit here too. All I wanted to do was forget last year ever happened and- To be honest, I'm not sure what Hannah thought she was doing. Yeah, well, you know how it is when you're crushing pretty hard on somebody. Great, so you're basically saying that we put a vulnerable friend in a terrible situation and essentially caused her to run away and never to be heard from again. Yes, that is exactly what you did. If it was you, don't you think you would have run away? I mean, who likes being made fun of? <laughs> People don't make fun of me. To your face. What? Chris, we made her look so stupid in front of all of her friends and the guy she liked. I can't imagine doing anything worse to somebody. I mean, there's a lot. Yeah, I, no, I get what you're saying. I, I get what you're saying. Let's not be too literal about it. Um, yeah, pretty messed up. I would have been upset too. <laughs> what is this like full-on ass shot? What are, what are we highlighting here? The hallway? Invoice enclosed. A packet of old newspapers with a story about Blackwood Pines, but the date of postage suggests that they were printed recently. Mm. Are these fake? Why would anyone make fake newspapers? <laughs> That's a really good question. To control the media with propaganda? Alright. Chris, are you doing anything except getting in the way? Do something! You know what? No. Ash. No, I've had enough. I'm not going down any further into this nightmare, Chris. Ashley, I understand, okay? I'm really freaked out too, but if Sam's down there all alone with a maniac and we leave, we're basically killing her ourselves. Hmm. Yeah, let's find Sam. God damn it. Ashley, come on. Especially since you don't want to mess right. up another friend. Well, when you're right, you're right. I don't want to be. I want to leave. No. We've got to find Sam. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, because you guys messed up with Hannah and Beth. So, this is your redemption arc. ba 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 Hold on. Chris wants to talk. Chris, I'm getting a really weird feeling from all this. What do you mean? Well, I just, I can't shake the feeling that those fake newspapers have something to do with the guy who killed Josh. Wait, wait like, like what? Like it's a setup or something? Yeah, but I mean, how? It's just, it almost makes sense, but it just feels like we're missing something. Like a gun or like food? Be more specific, Ash. What are we missing? Oh. Huh. Recently turned on. A 
and it says... Whoa, why is my... That's so weird. If I press right on the controller, it moves the flashlight left. Why am I suddenly inverted? It wasn't like that at all before. What's going on? Weird, and just left and right is inverted. That's so bizarre. Alright, that's where DJ Death was doing his stuff from, though. TV, lights, camera, action even. Oh, I thought I could go this way. Never mind, Chris, okay? You don't get it. You're not in control right now. I am. <clears throat> I do remember the scenario, though, where you, like, sit down with... Ashley and Chris, right? They get, like, put together, and then it's given a gun, and it's like, kill yourself or kill Ashley or something like that. I don't know what the right decision is in that scenario anymore. So... God damn these doors. Well, it showed me putting down the... This can't be for Eden. Why the hell is that here? Because it's a it's body like a goddamn double. grindhouse movie in here. Dead pig. Because he used it to uh, duplicate himself. And cut himself in half, but the bottom half of him was pig. Oh, wait, there's something here. Um, it showed me putting down the gun as Chris, so I think I should do that. Hooks and chains and hooks and chains. Oh boy. That's a great name for an album. I think all this stuff is it's his. Unless the Washingtons were into some freaky shit in their spare time, then yeah, probably. What's up everyone? We're called uh Murder House and this song is called Hooks and Chains. Hey everyone, we're called Grindhouse and this song is called Dead Meat Grinder. Well, Josh is dead. Is that Josh's face? It's not everyone. Matt and Emily aren't on this. I mean, what is this, like a fucking hit list? Christ. Yeah, probably. Like, what's this mannequin for? What do you think, Chris? Got any ideas? Any strokes of genius percola percolating up in that brain of yours there, buddy? No? You're just gonna keep walking and ignore me? Cool. Chris, I found where the scary shit was being made. Wait, isn't it on already? Oh. Oh my god, I can't oh god. You actually did this. Chris, it's from last year. Stupid prank. And uh, this is a little, this is a little uncomfortable, huh? She's here. I've never seen this video. She's just so. I've never seen this video, so even though it's shot from the angle of the game so from sorry. multiple angles, and we only had one camera in the room. <laughs> she has no idea. Oh, jeez. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, Sorry, I'm allergic to pranks. Matt, what are you doing? It was just a prank. Oh, I should have picked that one. Cool. Uh, couldn't feel worse. Looks like you were enjoying yourself. That's the worst part, isn't it? We were just playing a joke. It was supposed to be funny. Prank. Yeah. I never want to see this video ever again. <sighs> oh, that's menacing. Oh, yeah! Oh, Chris, 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 Chris! <laughs> what is going on? Ash, Ash, <sighs> slow down, okay? I can't handle this ghost and these videos and everything just, just flying Just calm down, around. listen to me for a what? second. What? Calm down? Why should I calm down, Chris? I am freaking this out right now. This has gotta be someone messing with us. What? Think about it, ghosts don't hook up video cameras. They don't play games. Then who would set this all up? Seriously, I'm asking. I don't know, maybe the same person who tied you up and killed Josh? Yeah, right. The same person who might have Sam right now. 
Maybe you're right. I wish I wasn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, they only had one camera. Like, wasn't Jess or somebody filming? You guys are not going to question the fact that... Whatever. I said my piece already. It's just a prank. Music's cool. I'm going this way, Chris. Peace. Never mind, Chris. There's nothing this way. Look, stop making fun of me. I'm just being diligent. Oh, crap. Look at that. What? Might be Sam's. Or oh, the pigs. See if I can get this. I got it, but oh, damn, this thing is heavy. Be careful. You gotta come through, Ash. I, I can't hold it. Uh, oh, come on. Chris. Which what? I think I just saw Sam over there. Uh, Ash, are you sure? I don't know, but come on, I think we should check it out. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure whoever's bleeding came through here, okay? So we really gotta get moving, like now. Uh, follow Chris. Okay, okay, yeah, you're right. I'm coming. Never split up in this scenario. Uh, also, that was clearly very not Sam. <laughs> I thought this thing was gonna crush me. Come on. The only thing that's gonna crush on you, Chris, is me. I don't get it. Why would anybody want to make this place any cooler? It's freezing. I don't even know what goes on inside this guy's head, man. Looks like something from Ghostbusters. He wants to make it colder because he needs to keep the dead pigs alive. It's just a prank, Sam. You in here, girlfriend? Okay, which is are the right ways to go? No. Nope. Oh, Chris. Oh no. That's not her as mannequin. Hello. Sam. Don't turn it around. It's a scary mannequin scarecrow. What I tell you? Shit. I don't get it. It's a dummy. Yeah, no, I can see that. Why is it dressed up like Sam? I don't know. Why would someone dress up a dummy like Sam? Chris, I don't know. I just told you I don't know. Now. Where the hell is Sam? This is crazy. This is crazy. Uh oh. <laughs> Chris, no! Oh shit! <gasps> Punch him! Get back! Stay the hell away from me! Boosh! Scissors, bitch! You must have been paper. Ow! Ow, my perfect teeth! That was a heck of a swing. Oh god, this is the moment. Oh, I'm gonna get someone killed here. Oh, Jesus, I don't wanna do it. No, 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 no. Ash! Ashley, wake up! It's me, Chris! I think he hit me. Shit, I'm gonna murder his fucking face off. <laughs> I'm gonna take his face <laughs> off. This is, no, this is the guy who killed Josh. God. No, God. God. You murder a piece of shit. Is this where we get the reveal? Die, Chris. I don't think I'm ready to die. No one is going to die. I don't think you're ever ready to die. It's just not fair. <laughs> What? Oh, it's not fair! It's too late. Oh, damn it all! What's the point? Stop it, just say. We're always talking around it, and now, I mean, we've wasted everything. Ashley, none of it was wasted. Spill the tea, Ash. What do you mean? Every second that I spent with you was the only thing I ever wanted to do with my time. <laughs> what are you saying, Chris? That's so nice. Sorry, I, I should have told you how I felt. Chris. Ashley, I swear when we get out of this. Oh god! Oh jeepers! Oh fuck, I I forget what to do. Don't be scared. Oh you should be, Ash. Because here's the twist. Chris has made one fatal choice already today. And now 
we must make another. Chris, you can take that gun in front of you and shoot Ashley, or you can shoot yourself. Can I shoot the machine? The choice is yours. It said sometimes. <laughs> Don't be so silly. It said sometimes the best option is to do nothing. That's what I'm gonna do. He put the gun down in the thing, so I'm not gonna do anything with it. Oh God. I'm I'm not doing anything. I'm I'm just gonna stay here. I'm staying here. I'm not doing anything. Don't touch anything. Is it actually changing anything? Am I gonna get both of them killed? I don't do well under pressure. Uh. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm I no no. I'm a pacifist. I'd rather you both die than me kill one of you. So if you're both gonna die, now is a good time to do it. At least they'll be together. <laughs> oh, this is a terrible plan. Oh, no! No! We didn't see them die. It happened off camera, which means it didn't happen. Now. Don't you see? Huh? Don't you see that this torture porn has gone too far? Huh? So now, what gives you the right to play God in these people's lives? What makes you so special then? Huh? I look cool. I have a dope mask. You're sick! You're a sick fuck! <laughs> now what the hell have you done to them? Huh? What the hell have you done to them? Psychopath. I don't think you're a very good therapist. <laughs> Psychopath. I, I, I don't think you should be saying that to me. <laughs> Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. He's he's looking right into your soul. And you know what he's thinking? He's thinking, why haven't you gone into the description and bought some top of the morning coffee already? See, he smiled when I brought it up. You should do that. Go down, buy top of the morning coffee. It's great, it's very tasty. <laughs> Go get it for yourself. Uh, that's gonna do it for me in this episode. Uh, Matt's dead, everybody else is alive. I'm fine with that, that's totally cool. Yeah, I'm not upset at all. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow, which will probably be the final episode, and then we'll see... Actually, maybe not. I don't know. But bye!